Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary and here we're talking about houseplants and a bit more about Hoyas. So today I have decided to start a video about troubleshooting Hoyas because I have seen many people asking about issues that they have with their Hoyas and to be honest with you, they can be quite finicky from time to time, but the root cause, no pun intended, is usually quite similar for most of the issues. So, um, I will be troubleshooting today my Hoya Lacunosa, which is this one. It has seen better days, I can assure you about that. So let me give you a bit of a backstory about this Hoya. I got it around nine... You, I, we, we'll, we'll go to this. So I got it around nine months ago. Um, it was originally in Spanknu Moss, uh, as most of the Hoyas I get from this particular supplier. And it was trellised. Lacunosas like to be hanged, so... And I like Pon, semi-hydro. Uh, Lacunosa is a variety that likes semi-hydro, doesn't have any issues in general from what, what I know and what I had read previously. So I was like, okay, let's put it in pond, semi-hydro and let it thrive. Um, it's supposed to be one of the easy Hoyas, uh, not for me, as you will learn in a while. So. Um, I got it, I put it in pond semi-hydro, I had it hung, similar to this, but in a smaller pot, and it was going okay for the first few months. Um, after a few, maybe three months, four months, I started noticing a few leaves dropping. So the first thing when you do this is chop and probe. Uh, this is my rule of thumb, I always, when I see something is wrong, I take some cuttings in case I need to start the plant from scratch and then I try to see what is the problem. So I got a few cuttings, I checked the roots, everything was fine, no issues. Uh, so I'm like, okay, we'll just let it be. And then I will, if the cuttings are established, once they are good, I can transfer them uh, along with the main plant so I can have a bushier plant. And this is what I did. So I moved it to a bigger pot. It started with a two inch or two and a half inch when I got it. Now I have it in a four inch pot, as you can see here. And originally it was okay. The cuttings were well established when I put them in the new pot. I had no issues. And then the cuttings started to just rot. Drop leaves and rot. I still have one which is left from the cuttings that I had put here, so you can see. So this, I know okay, I have neglected it a little bit, but this is the status of how they turned out. So now it's this nice time that I have decided to start from scratch once again and see what the problem is. So what we're going to do today is we are going to unpot, check the roots, see what is the issue and take it from there. Uh, before doing any of this, I have already checked with a microscope. I have this microscope, which is quite useful uh, for pests and small bugs like flat mites that are not visible to the naked eye. I have checked with the microscope, everything was good. No bugs, no pests, nothing. Um, the leaves are still dropping. Right now I just had this one drop. They look okay, I don't see any issue on the leaf, that's the problem. So the Hoya is not thirsty. Actually I had it, this one in, uh, in my bathroom. Um, and this is where I put uh, all the Hoyas that are usually thriving. So I never had any issues with Hoyas in bathroom because they like high humidity, I have high humidity in general and in the bathrooms I have even higher humidity. Uh, nevertheless, the problem continues, so today we're gonna troubleshoot together. So let's get started. First of all, and since I'm sure that I don't have any pests on the plant, I'm going, next step is to check the roots. 
So what I'm going to do is just take it out of the pot and remove the pond. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if I will still keep it in pond. I may change to my orchid mix because I don't know. I mean, I have I have good success, great success in pond so far, but this one is really struggling. I'm not sure what's happening. We will figure it out tonight. Okay, so I'm removing the biggest part. I understand right now that the um, uh, the plant is in a much bigger pot compared to what it should be. If all the cuttings had survived, then the four-inch pot would be fine. But now I have more and more dead stems, so I understand that it will need to be repotted in a smaller pot, regardless whether I go for semi-hydro or not. So I have started removing. I will remove this thing, you see? So this is how all the cuttings turned out. And you can see here it has root rot, apparently. Well, there, <laughs> there is not much left. Um, how do you realize that it has root root? You see this very here, very stringy roots. So normally Hoyas, yes, they do have thin roots, thin root system, but not as thin as this one. So I am going to remove this one. This is the OG, this is the original plant. It has quite a few leaves dropped. You see, I have some bare stems in general. I'm suspecting that this too has rotted as well. So let's have a look. All right, so this is the root system that we are dealing with. And yes, the majority of the roots are gone. You know what? Let me just move you a bit down so you can see what I'm doing instead of seeing my face. All right, here we are. So you see, these are all dead roots. Here we have some roots that seem relatively okay and I guess this is the last roots that were remaining in the plant and it was struggling to get some nutrients but in majority we have root rot. So what I'm going to do right now is first of all chop the plant so I will need to take some cuttings. I will try to salvage some of the roots here. I'm not sure how many I will be able to do, but hopefully I can get a few. So let's start propagating. I'm gonna take, you see here I have a very small leaf forming, but all of these have been lost. So I will chop it. Mm, here should be okay and you can see that I get sap so whenever you get sap that means that the stem is healthy and it can be propagated I'm going to make a few propagations maybe one more here And then maybe here. This is quite big, but I will keep it as is. I will pro probably remove this leaf and just let it root throughout this stem. So Lacunosa is one of the Hoyas that I'm really struggling with. They're supposed to be easy ones. I'm not sure what's going on. 
Um, I have a problem with most of my small or thin-lived Hoyas like Croniana I'm struggling, my um, Cortesia I'm also struggling uh, I don't know, I mean I, I, I'm not a huge fan of small-lived Hoyas and this is the very unpopular opinion but okay it is what it is, I'm not sure we have sap everywhere and you know what I'm gonna cut it right here we have sap that means this is a healthy cutting I'm also checking the roots thoroughly Whenever you see very stringy roots, like very thin, super thin roots, you always, always need to cut them off because the rest of the plant will rot as well. All these bunch of roots seem quite okay, so I will keep as is. Here, half of the roots are struggling. You can see they're just very thin and a good rule of thumb is to always do this with your finger or your nail very gently. So if you see that the root is just breaking, that means that it has root root. You know what, I'm not going to risk this, this one because I can see even here it has some root root. So I'm going to chop this here and remove all the old root system and I've kept this which I will probably cut again so I'm gonna do another cutting here and I will just let this be so, all the roots, all roots gone. I will need to sterilize my bone from scratch because probably it has a few dead roots inside from what I can see. And I do not want to use the same bone without cleaning it first. So these are all the new propagations we got. I'm gonna propagate in water. Let me just move back up okay so I will propagate and water all of them and I will keep you posted on the progress all right guys we are back so what I have decided to do because I'm a woman who keeps her word is not put all the cuttings in water because at the end of the day as I mentioned I'm not sure if I will be using pawn in the long run for my lacnosa or not so the one major let's say plant which is the remainder is this i have put in pawn with a wicking system in a self-watering pot and hopefully it will grow again let's see i have put a few cuttings in water with rooting hormone inside uh, I will keep the rooting hormone for probably a week and then I will just use plain water but what I will be doing I will also be putting a few of the cuttings in my propagation box so I have here uh, my propagation box I use stra well not stratum an equivalent ara that I find here which is a Japanese brand but it's equally good and I will be using this uh, for propagations because I'm not sure at the end if I will be keeping my lacunosa in pond or not so if I put the propagations in water I will be getting root roots if um, oh my god what did I say water roots 
So yes, I will be getting water roots. If I put in stratum, let's say, uh, I will be getting soil roots. So since there is a chance that I will be moving this to another medium, orchid mix or something else, I would prefer to have soil roots since the beginning. This is why I have in total three plants right now, or three, let's say, different groups of plants. One which is the mother plant in pond with the roots that I could salvage. One which is the propagations, the new propagations in water. And the last one in my prop box with stratum. So I have been using this prop box which is nothing fancy as you can see here. It's just a takeout box. So I'm just watering thoroughly. I see it has lots of humidity inside already. And that was my pro box, you see, without even uh, having anything inside. So it's always humid in here. So I just keep it like that. And I will check back again in probably a week to see the progress. So, wish me luck, because I will need with this lacunosa, I mean, I don't know what else to do. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. That's it for today, and I will be seeing you next time.